We have here verse 7 of the 6th chapter of the Gospel of John. We're in the middle of a conversation between Jesus and Philip in which Jesus has just put the question to Philip that must have caught him very much off guard. Where are we going to find bread sufficient to feed all of these people, of course, as they're being approached by a pretty good-sized crowd? They are there on the mountain, and this apparently is becoming a evident need, and Philip, of course, has no particular adequate answer to give, and the answer he gives, uh, as recorded here, is, of course, exactly what we might expect. Apocrythe, this is from Apocrinomai, I answer. This is the aorist, it's a deponent verb, so it's passive in form, active in meaning. So it's the third person singular aorist, active indicative. He answered, auto, Apocrythe takes the dative, so this is the dative pronoun, masculine singular. He answers him. Ho is not in some manuscripts, either way, of course, it uh, uh, is uh, uh, clear what the sense is, the definite article sometimes used with a proper name. So he answered him, Philippos, then diakosmion. Diakosmion is an adjective, it simply means 200. So 200, denarion. This is the word denarius. It was a common Roman coin, a coin in the ancient world. Generally, it was comparable to about a day's wage. So 200 denarii would, of course, represent a considerable amount of money, uh, certainly a little more than what a person, a working man, might have made in half a year of labor. And so uh, that's a fair amount of money that uh, Philip is mentioning here. Uh, 200 denarii are toy. This is the nominative plural of uh, the word artos, which means bread. It is uh, in the plural here, of course. We don't translate it into English with the plural breads, but just simply bread. So uh, breads uh, of 200 denarii, that is the genitive, is being used in these to indicate uh, uh, an amount, so breads of 200 denarii, uk arkusen. The word arkeo, the contract verb, means I am sufficient or I am content or something like that. Normally not used, of course, in the first person. This is the third person plural, present active indicative, so 200 denarii of breads literally are not sufficient, they are not adequate enough, autois, the dative plural masculine pronoun, uh, to them, not sufficient to them, or for them, of course, is more the sense here. Henna, the uh, uh, conjunction which normally takes the uh, subjunctive, as we find right there, so uh, not sufficient for them in order that hekastos, this is the Adjective, uh, it means each. This is the singular masculine uh, nominative in order that each, braku, the adjective, uh, which means a little, and that's the idea, in order for a little of them, uh, this te, the indefinite uh, pronoun, is not found in many of the Vesk manuscripts, but uh, the sense of it is clear enough in order that they might labe. From lambano, I take or I receive. This is the third person singular, uh, aorist active subjunctive, so it goes along with the henna. So Philip answers and says the 200 denarii's worth of bread wouldn't be adequate for these people, for this number of people, so that each of them could even have a little bit, let alone enough to uh, suffice for a full meal. Uh, Philip, of course, at this point has no idea how this could play out and how in the world Jesus could be reasonably asking such a question to him. But, of course, this is all the preamble necessary for us to fully appreciate the miracle that is about to be described.